hello everyone welcome back to the max today youtube channel how are you today it's a bright weather out i'm um, trusting is the same where you are so um today we're bringing you um one of our how we made this videos and today is special because we are showcasing um uh, i'll call it a unisex vest and the reason why i'll call it that is uh, because uh, um, a man can wear this vest and a woman can also wear this vest okay but it was made essentially for a dude so you see all those um all those t-shirts and shirts that are in our men's wardrobes that we like to wear this is one of those and this is really really stylish plus the fact that it is crochet all right so how did we make this this is different than any other you know usual vest and the reason is because we had this beautiful play on colors and shapes colors shapes lines and all okay so um but before i um dive in to tell you all of the different things that we did are you new here do go subscribe to our channel every week we bring you brand new videos if we're not showing you um all of the possible inspiration or all of the possibilities of crochet by inspiring you we are bringing you one of these how we made one of our own bespoke pieces or we bring you um a video sh uh, demystifying what one um, celebrity or another wore okay so do go subscribe right and um, don't miss out on those videos on a weekly basis we have our galleries up on instagram our um, wedding apparel gallery wedding day apparel because on there we have wedding dresses we have uh, dresses for the bride we have dresses for the bridesmaid we have dresses for guests also so for our wedding day apparel you find those all up at uh, makisode weddings all right and then for corporates and casuals accessories and the rest you find those all up at uh, makisode models both on instagram do well to um, follow do well to like do well to leave a nice comment and share 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 our content yeah share our videos share our um, yeah the, the the pictures too to inspire other people all right so let's dive in so i'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough this um vest consists of two panels right the front this front panel right here and a plain back panel so it's a choice really what this tells you is you can also choose to um walk this is a, a plain canvas on which you can design whatever it is you want to design so what did we do first measurements 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 very important so let's say this individual um, from his shoulder all up onto his waist measures about um let me walk with 24. let me bring our paper forward so that i can see that so let's say from the shoulder shoulder to um upper i'll call that the upper uh, pant line where the their jeans essentially starts from all right let's say that measures about 24 ish that's in inches all of my measurements are usually in inches so let's say that measures about 24 inches you want to divide this um this inches into whatever whatever design you had decided now for this particular one we had decided that we wanted this big triangle to just sit here from under the armpit yeah that's where that measurement starts from under the armpit all the way to the base of the garment let me put it this way so that it's clearer you know for you to see so right there so this is from under the armpit to here so essentially this um triangle is going to take the entire length minus the base remember that you're going to have to edge your base and since we had decided that this is what we're going to use the front post back post you're going to have to do a minus maybe minus one inch to take care of that minus one inch because this is the base okay so minus one inch to take care of the base okay so now if your minus one inch takes care of the base it means that what you have left is a total of 23 inches from the shoulders all the way down you now have to determine what part of that is the armhole depth so the armhole depth right if let's say the armhole depth is about seven or eight i work with eight here let me see. so armhole depth armhole depth is equal to eight inches you're still going to um, subtract that and then we have a total of um, 23 minus eight 
that's about um, 15. We have 15 inches left to work with. From the this is from the armpit, armpit to base is equal to 15 inches. That's what we have to work with. So this 15 inches at this point, you're gonna have to divide into two, right? You're gonna have to divide that into two. See because you have to create a midpoint that's the midpoint from where you have to return you notice that we um this worked this diagonal climbed up the colors changed all the way to a point and then we went back that way okay so if that is supposed to be properly centered especially if you didn't want it to get all the way here because here the number of stitches will also matter whatever number of stitches you have from one side to the other will also matter however it is you decided that the design works will also matter so this for this particular one we didn't want the triangle to get all the way here and we also wanted to have we wanted to have an equal slant here and there all the way to the armpit area so these measurements, like I said, the shoulder to the upper line, the base, whatever number of inches you choose for the base, the base, the armhole depth is important. Arm P to base also important. So now we now started two different colors. Okay, so two different colors because we initially we have um, 15 inches from this point right here to this point, right? You're gonna have to divide that by two. You have um, seven and a half. So once you've walked up to seven and a half, you know you have to start going back. That's just it. So for the front panel, when we walked up, you know, um, evenly uh, increased the, 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 the brown, evenly increased the brown up to a point. When we got there up to the, up to the midpoint of seven and a half inches, we had to go back so that we would meet the armpit at another seven and a half inches to get our 15 inches in total. When we're done with that, as usual, the back, like I said, we were, the back is plain, it's plain brown. So we walk that all the way by itself. Walk your brown, your walk, you walk your brown panel all the way, yeah, and get to the armpit area. Walk the front panel all the way to the armpit area. Join both sides. Yep, join both sides. When you join both sides, you now continue the front panel. We continued with the um the, the blue. Yeah, we wanted the blue to still go. We continued that way because we wanted uh, some more brown up here. Okay, so for the same number of rows that formed this lower part, we maintained it up here, and so continued. So you see that we added some more brown and kept increasing it on this side. Now note, because this design is you know diagonal, it means that all of this entire part may end up being blue, may, may end up being blue. It is possible that at a point, so maybe some brown would have come up, but this, with the measurements we had, brown didn't show up here at all. So so that's it essentially. Front panel, do that. Your colors worked. The back panel, since it's brown, you maintain that. We did that, and then we worked the base. The base I mentioned earlier that we worked it in the front post, back post um, uh, method in the number of inches that we had left. And here, we had about one, uh, one and a half left. And so we just worked that to give it the full length that was desired for this particular individual. When we're done with that, we also edged the armholes with the front post, back post stitch. That's it right about two rows here for the armholes about three rows for the base three or four depending on which length you were looking for and then we walked the collar the body i didn't mention was worked in houndstooth stitches this um collar we will now worked in single crochet stitches all right so single crochet stitches we walked a few rows to get it to look that way and then we labeled now on here, even though we like to use our own, this is our our this is our brand, and so we used to we like to um, label it this way. You can label it whatever you want. You could put the Superman if you'd like to, but that's entirely up to you. So that's how this worked. It's a very beautiful vest, right? It's not like your usual vest, and of course, like I said, you can this for for the guys or girls, you can totally twin with your better half, right? Yeah. You can twin, you can make two exact same vests, and both of you wear it out on a date. So that's about it. Is there any part of this video that was um, quite unclear? Do let us know in the comments, and we will do our best to do something a little bit more explicit. Remember to subscribe, remember to follow, remember to like, remember to leave a comment, and remember to share, share, share. 
thank you so much for watching and bye for now